Hey there guys, we have made a video about brand deals on our previous episode, but we have not taught you on how to get those deals. So today guys, we will be teaching you about that, but before we do, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and gong that bell. Hey Freedom, what's up? My name is Nolden. welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. On today's episode guys, let's talk about on how you can find brand deals and also how you can approach companies to give you that shot. We all know guys that brand deals can propel your channel to higher heights, maybe financially or the growth of your channel. But whatever it is you and the company have agreed on, you can bet your bottom dollar that your channel will grow after the brand deal. So guys, enough of the chit chat, let's go to the episode on Freedom Quick Tips. First off, we need to pick brands that suits your channel. Sometimes it's obvious because it may be one of the products you use. You can eye those companies for a brand deal. Or if you're a vlogger, if you use a Canon camera, maybe it's a good idea to reach out to that company. Here's some of the guys from Creator Academy that lets you decide and find out brands that can be good for you. Number one, research the brand and understand their value. Researching is an important aspect to choosing a brand. You have to be thorough in your research because you have to choose a brand that fits your channel. You have to look if the channel shares the same views as you, the same kind of people you are targeting, and the same topics and other elements. Number two is listen to your audience. Listening to your audience is the best way to know if your brand that you have picked is good for your channel. Your audience insights can help you get a better grasp of what your channel can be a good fit for. Your audience wants what's best for you and your channel, and of course, they want to see something that makes sense for you and for them. So don't forget to keep your audience in the loop. So let's say now you are certain what kind of brands are a good fit for your channel, and you are confident that you can have a good working relationship with them, and you are ready to reach out to them. Here are some tips you can do to reach out. Number one is sponsorship platforms. Sponsorship platforms are online marketplaces like Framebit by YouTube that helps facilitate brand partnerships. Brands post ideas or campaign opportunities. Creators can search to find the ones that are a good fit and reach out directly on the platform. Sponsorship platforms are typically the quickest, most concentrated way to see opportunities for all channel sizes and genres. Number two is proactively contacting brands. When you say proactive, it's being present wherever they are and you are trying to get their attention as much as possible. May it be in their events, social media, website, or try to go to their office and ask for an audience from them. It's good to build up that relationship and rapport so when the time comes when they need content creators for their marketing platforms or their marketing strategies, you will be the first one in their minds. Now you know how you can reach them, let's talk about how you can get their attention. Every content creator who wants to make a deal with the company, you will need to give them the important information that gives them an idea on what you can do. It's like your portfolio or like your resume. Here are the things you will need to insert in your portfolio. Number one, statistics on your audience demographics and subscribers. Number two, your accomplishments. Number three, examples of your favorite content. Number four, other brands you've worked with and statistics from these companies that you can share. Number five, highlights of what you uniquely bring to the table. Number six, your value and what you can do for them. So now that you have your portfolio, it's time to contact them formally with a formal letter or the letter of your intent. Here are the things you will need to take note of when you create your formal letter. Number one, your brand friendly story or your portfolio. Number two, why your audiences will care about their brand, why the brand could be a good fit, and how reaching your audience can serve the brand's need. If your audience is already interested in the brand, you could link to the comments or show examples from your channel. Number three, your vision of what successful partnership looks like and creative suggestions for how you could incorporate the product. Number four, examples of your previous content that was similar and successful or upcoming content good fit. Number five, details that could make a brand know you care about their success, like offering to post more on social media, putting a affiliate links in your descriptions, or offering innovative ways that you could use the product. Last note guys, don't be discouraged when they do not contact you. You might not be a good fit for them, or maybe it's not the right moment for you guys now. But in time, when they need someone like yourself, they will be able to tap on you. And you must be ready to answer the call. And that's the episode of Freedom. Let us know down below if you have other tips for us so that we can approach and find other brands for our channel. Let us know down below in the comment section. Also guys, before you leave, please leave a like, subscribe, and gong that bell. My name is Noel, guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, freedom, quick tips. I'm gonna be seeing you guys on the next episode. Goodbye!